Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss how we can work with MQ-135 sensor with the ESP32 board. So let me show you the things first. First of all today we will understand the MQ-135 sensor which is the air quality sensor. It consists of four pins if we see it from the near this sensor consists of four pins on the back the names of the pins are written and the first pin is a naught and the second is d naught the third is the ground and the fourth is the vcc you can notice all the names of the pins this sensor has the name mq135 you can see on the neck of this sensor it is written MQ-135 now moving forward we will use two resistors the one is the 100k resistor you can see the bigger image of 100k on the right hand side of the screen and the second resistor we are going to use is the 220k ohm resistor ohm is the unit of resistance and some of the jumper wires we will use and the last and the most important uh, some of the jumper wires after the jumper wires the last and the most important thing is the breadboard as you have used the breadboard in all of your projects the earlier projects the ESP32 board and the USB cable so let us start by making the circuit of this project which is about measuring the air quality in units of PM. What is PM and what are the units of air quality? I suggest you to go to the video in the link description to get the idea what is air quality and its units. So let me move towards making the circuit. Now this is the time to make the circuit. The process of making circuit is very easy. First of all we will take the MQ-135 sensor and there are four pins. Uh, you can see the name of the pins at the back but I am telling you from the front the first pin is the VCC the second pin is the ground pin, the third pin is the D naught and the fourth pin is the A naught. I will post a picture of all the pins in the link description. So I am turning uh, the sensor and now fixing it in the first row. Okay, I have fixed the sensor in the very first row of our breadboard so it is now fixed and now it's time to make the circuit to fix all the pins first of all i will take the very first resistor which is the 100 ohm resistor the first pin of the 100 ohm resistor will be inserted at the very first hole below the first pin so i am inserting it you can see the breadboard uh, diagram as well in the circuit diagram pasted in the link. So I have inserted the first pin in the first hole and the second part of the pin I am inserting it below the line anywhere on the breadboard. So you can see I have inserted the first pin with the 100k resistor. and the second part is to connect this pin to the D32. The D32 is here. You can see the D32 is the sixth pin from this side on the ESP32 board. So first of all, what I will do, I will take this board and count six pin. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I am again telling you that you must have to see that this pin where I am connecting the yellow pin 
is D32 and D32 the name D32 is written here on your ESP32 board and I am leaving it here and the end of this resistor pin I am connecting just below it so they both are in the same line they both are parallel to each other now moving forward I will take another resistor but what uh, where is the place where should be this resistor should be connected so I am taking the 200 ohm resistor and connecting it's like just below this yellow pin and you can see I have connected and the second leg is in the air still I will connect it somewhere here on the breadboard you can connect it anywhere so you can see I have connected the 200 K resistor just below the yellow pin and the second leg is here it can be connected anywhere okay so the 200 ohm resistor the leg of the second uh, 200 ohm resistor this open leg should be connected to the third pin of this sensor so first pin is here the second is empty so I am moving towards the third pin okay so let me take it from here and I will take this red jumper wire and connect it to the third hole just below my sensor so you can see I have connected it as well now I am working on some close view of the circuit so the things are connected now it's time to connect more pins now we have connected the 100k resistor we have connected the 200k resistor now we are ready to connect the ground in this the second last pin is the ground pin i will connect it here and in this circuit the ground should be connected to the 200 ohm leg so i will connect the ground here just above this red pin so the ground is also connected now the remaining pin if we see in the circuit is the vcc we will take this last pin and connect it here connect it here and this should be connected to the very first pin from my right hand so there are four pins so the second is left the third is filled and we will connect it with the fourth one here let me fit it and you can see the circuit is now completed and you can verify it with the help of circuit diagram as well let me explain you the circuit again so it did it get it did not get complicated the first we will take the 100k resistor and put it here then we will take the yellow pin and this yellow pin from the leg of the 100k resistor will go in the d32 then we will take the 200k resistor this res resistor and this will go here and from here we will take the red pin and this red pin will move towards the third pin of our sensor here it is and the third part we took this brown pin just above the red pin and put it here on the ground pin of the ESP32 board then at last we have taken the VCC which is connected to the fourth pin and which is connected to the VN of our board. You can use a smaller wire for better understanding. I have repeated it so you can get the better idea. Thank you. So it is connected. Now it's time to move inside the laptop screen. We are on the screen of laptop. Today uh, we will work on 
connecting MQ-135 sensor with our ESP32 board and running the program. We have connected all the components with the ESP32 board. Now it's time to code and to run the program to get the real output. Let us move towards my GitHub and in my GitHub repository we will find the code. We have to download it or copy it. So in this GitHub you will click on the first folder air pollution and air quality index. You will find the circuit diagram here. You can download it for your reference. And this is the code. What I am doing, I am clicking on raw and I am control, control C copying it and this is the circuit diagram and you can find it here in the GitHub and in the video as well. So I am going here in the Arduino IDE removing these things and copying my code. You can see here is defined the pin number 32 as we have connected uh, our pin to pin number 32 on the ESP32 board as well. So first of all I will click on verify and I will uh, save the code and I will name it as AQI index okay and saving it but before saving it it is going to save there is a library named as 1MQ135.h before compiling or uploading this code to the ESP32 board we have to install this library and you can see there is an error MQ135H not found so we will move towards my github again and in the github in the readme file below you can find the library of MQ135 sensor so I am on the page of one MQ135 I will click on this green button and click on download zip this is the library written by George K for MQ135 and the library is downloaded in my computer and you can see it is in the downloads it is automatically downloaded to this downloads folder on my PC okay so MQ135 master okay what I will do I will add this library in my Arduino I will go towards this is sketch tab and in the sketch I will click on include library and there is option add dot zip library and in the dot zip library I will go towards the same place my downloads area and in the downloads you can find uh, the library let me uh, move towards my downloads this PC or no, my file is in C users Dell download. So I am going to C users. Everyone have a different place for downloading the file. And in this C users download, I will I can find MQ135 master. I will click on open button and the library will be added automatically. Now I will click on the verify button. It will not give me any of the errors this time and I will wait for it to get compiled and after this I will click on the verify or the upload button and after clicking on the upload button the final task what is the final task the final task is to open the serial monitor and to see the readings but there is a very important thing that MQ135 is not so very is not very accurate is not so uh, powerful so what we are going to do we are going to leave our sensor for four to five hours in fresh air so we will get uh, the stable readings after calibrating the sensor after putting the sensor in fresh air for four to five hours it will be ready to give some point uh, some accurate readings at some point so MQ135 is not a very accurate sensor but it can give the readings in PPM and we can get our desired task so if everyone wants to know what is PPM what is air quality I am posting the link of the explanation of PPM 
in the link of the description of this video so you can get the better idea what is AQI what is air quality index and why it is measured in PM or PPM okay so you will get the complete details about the unit in the link of the description of this video okay so the code is in uploading phase and after uploading we will uh, press on the serial monitor and we'll, we will see uh, the live output of the code okay so we are waiting uh, yes it is uploading and now it has been uploaded so let me open the serial monitor and we will monitor the readings so you can see the readings are stable now between 60 and 80 and we can scale it so the important step is to keep the sensor on for 4 to 5 hours so these readings will stick to a stable value you can observe the change in reading by using a lighter or by using a perfume in the room and the readings will start fluctuating thank you